Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, with the morning outlook, I'm Joseph Novichko, senior analyst at GDMFX. Uh, we're going to start again with uh, the Japanese yen. Uh, it was a near uh, the lowest in almost six years versus the U.S. dollar as Japanese reports uh, showed a slump in business spending, a shrinking current account surplus. That's added to the signs that the economy is losing a little bit of the momentum. Uh, the collapse of uh, Japan's previously large current account surplus is the main medium-term driver uh, behind a weaker yen. Now, the yen has declined 1.35% uh, in the past month. Right now, the Japanese yen uh, is at 105.12 versus the dollar. Uh, going to UK, the sterling there uh, dropped as uh, opinion polls highlighted the risk uh, Scotland will vote for independence next week. Now, potentially uh, splintering the UK's 307-year-old uh, union, uh, Britain's currency slid to the uh, weakest against the dollar since November uh, at uh, 1.6165 uh, dollars per pound and is unchanged at this moment. The euro, uh, how, on the other hand, versus the US dollar is also unchanged at 1.2945 dollars per euro after falling uh, under the 1.3 dollar per euro level, uh, reaching as low as 1.2117 uh, that was last Friday. Uh, going to the commodity sector, it's a bit more interesting. Uh, gold uh, rising from an 11 week low after US employers added uh, fewer uh, jobs this year, adding some uh, pressure to the Federal Reserve to maintain lower interest rates. Uh, slowing uh, labor uh, gains um, come to Fed uh, policymakers had uh, signaled they could rise borrowing costs sooner than uh, they anticipated on signs of faster job growth. However, gold is uh, heading for the first quarterly loss this year as uh, the outlook for higher interest rates curbed demand for an inflation hedge. A uh, separate report this week, of course, at the end of the week may show gains uh, for U.S. manufacturing and housing. On the other hand, we are staying away from the precious metal at this moment until we see prices above 1277 level from where, of course, we consider long positions uh, more attractive. Uh, crude oil, West Texas Intermediate traded near a three-day low on a slowdown from uh, imports uh, into China, the world's second biggest oil consumer. China's purchases declined 2.4% in August uh, compared with the 1.6% dropped in July. Data showed um, from Beijing-based Customs uh, Administration. Uh, a data from the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission also showed that uh, money managers are reducing net long positions in crude oil futures uh, in the seven days to September 2. Uh, that was all from me from today. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't uh, forget to watch the economic calendar. Today is uh, not much volatility over there. However, at the end of the week, it's always very important. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.